By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand how to find fractions on a number line, adding like fractions on a number line, subtracting like fractions on a number line. Stick around and watch till the end. Hi, I'm Nack. Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Nack Tack 910. On a number line. Let's understand fractions better using a number line. For a fraction, say 3 fourths, that means we're looking at a number greater than 0 because it's a positive number and less than 1 because 3 fourths is less than a whole. That means it's somewhere between 0 to 1. The denominator is 4, so let's divide the number line into 4 equal parts. First one is 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, and 1 whole. That means it's 3 parts of the number line here. Now, let's see if you can represent 2 fifths on the number line. Yeah, sure. Because this is a fraction, and I don't see a whole number, that means this is somewhere between 0 and 1. Denominator is 5. This means one whole is divided into 5 equal parts. There it is. 2 by 5. That's 2 parts of the 5 equally divided parts. Well done! Addition of like fractions on a number line. Now let's use a number line to add fractions. Say, I need to add 1 7th plus 3 sevenths. Let's put 1 7th on the number line. Both are like fractions. That means denominator is same. In this case, 7. To add 3 7 jump 3 times starting from 1 7th. 1, 2, 3. We end up at 4 7 That means 1 7th plus 3 7 equals 4 7 Because we already know how to add like fractions, Let's check if this is right with our usual model. 1 7 plus 3 7 Both are like fractions, so add the numerators. 1 7 plus 3 7 is the same thing as 1 plus 3 over 7 equals 4 7 Same answer as our number line answer. Subtraction of like fractions on a number line. Let's subtract using number line now. 5 6 minus 1 6. Let's find 5 6 on the number line, dividing into 6 parts, and here it's 5 6. Both are like fractions. Let's subtract 1 because the numerator of 1 6 is 1. Because it's subtraction, count backwards starting from 5 6. We end up at 4 6. That means 5 6 minus 1 6 gives us 4 6. Let us subtract our way to check if number line gives us the same right answer. 5 6 minus 1 6. Both are like fractions, so just subtract the numerators. 5 by 6 minus 1 by 6 equals 5 minus 1 over 6, which is equal to 4 by 6. Same as our number line answer. Try this example. Jack ate two six of a pizza, and Ella ate one six of a pizza. How much of pizza did both eat together? Friends, try solving with me. Jake and Ella together means we need to add two by six and one by six. To add two by six and one by six, let's add using our usual addition first. Two by six plus one by six equals 2 plus 1 over 6, which is equal to 3 by 6. Now let's try solving with the number line. One whole is divided into 6 parts, finding 2 6 on the number line. Now jump once because the top number is 1 6. We end up at 3 6. 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6 equals 3 by 6. There you go. Answer is 3 6 either way. Jake and Ella a 3 by 6 of the pizza together. Perfect! Math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts and a little bit of practice with loads of fun!